Hey, this is Tim, and today we'll be looking at the effect of aerated bottom drains on surface skimming. In my pond, it's rectangular. I have a single surface skimmer over here in the front left, and I have two aerated bottom drains. And what I've discovered is the foam and leaves and surface debris is pushed outward and tends to collect in areas where there's not high flow passing through it. In the back left in my pond is, is the primary zone where most stuff collects up. Over here to the right I have kind of a TPR that kind of pushes the water away from that corner but it still does collect over there somewhat. This corner right here is not bad at all and of course where the skimmer box is is where all the uh, stuff gets pushed into. So we'll take a look at the skimmer box here and uh, pretty simple, we've got a leaf basket and the two inch pipe you see right there is for overflow. Uh, I run a constant trickle through here at a rate of about maybe 70 to 100 gallons per day. That water basically is constantly going in the pond and as it fills up it just uh, simply drains out this, this drain here, it's overflow. And what's nice about where I've positioned it is where the foam accumulates is kind of where it ends up uh, being pushed out and uh, removed from the pond. So, not too bad right there. Now, if we go over here and turn the air pump off, you'll start to see that the foam and surface debris is... Uh, starts getting pushed over to the skimmer. And it doesn't take it very long. Most of the time the air pump is on except for when people are here viewing. So of course for many hours it's going to be off. Uh, on a Saturday and a Sunday, you know, when we're out here enjoying the outside, then uh, it's going to be off most of the time. You can see it, the foam kind of starting to break up. We did have a little bit of a uh, thunderstorm roll through here, so not too many leaves, but I do see some pine straw over there. A few leaves. See it starting to make its way in there now. So the question begs, where do you put your skimmers and how many should you have? In an ideal pond, and like mine, I'd probably say four skimmers, one on each corner. What do you say? Now, knowing that we're probably not going to put four skimmers on there, where do you place them? I would actually say that uh, if you're going to have one, it needs to be in the opposite end of the waterfall area in a corner. If you're going to have two, I would put one at the opposite end of the waterfall and another at the waterfall and basically try to run all the water across one long wall. So in my pond, if I were to add, and I have considered doing this, I would put another skimmer right over there in that corner knowing that this area right here doesn't collect too much and of course this area right here doesn't collect any at all and pretty much that's it so usually it'll look nice and slick clean like this and here's a picture of the fish here of course they all think it's feeding time now And that's it. I hope this helps someone. Alrighty, so here we are about, I'd say maybe seven to ten minutes later. 
and you can see that all the foam is gone and uh, the pond is cleared up. This is normally what it's going to look like without the aerators on. So it's up to you to decide when and uh, you're going to turn them on and off. Obviously if you're hanging out and you have company over and you're looking at the pond, turn them off. And uh, when you're not home and you're at work all day long and no one's going to be there, leave them on. And uh, I guess you could probably put it on, actually I had considered putting them on a, on a timer, but uh, ultimately I decided I didn't have any benefit of doing that since I'm either here or I'm not here. And all I have to do is flip a switch. So that's it. And uh, catch you next time.